So there will be our next chance for wind and rain. Uh, temperatures today, though, in the last couple of days have been rather cool, and that obviously took away the severe weather threat. 55 was our high today. We started the morning at 26 degrees, and that was pretty cold. One of the coldest mornings of the month coming at the end of March. Here's your Mr. Reuter Tower Cam review. Uh, we have partly cloudy skies over the city. It's been uh, very pleasant. Not as cold tonight because clouds are moving in 46 degrees, a light southeast wind, high pressure moving off to the mid-Atlantic coast. And boy, it doesn't take long for moisture to fill in. You can see the latest wave of low pressure uh, starting to redevelop in the western plains, and that's initiating thunderstorms across the upper Midwest and snow again for Minneapolis. They've had over 80 inches, but notice what catches your eye here is that return flow of Gulf moisture, some rain and thunder in Missouri and Illinois, and that will weaken but start to move East early on Friday morning. So we'll see some rain for the Friday morning commute. So here's the pattern over and over again. Same this week, same as last week. A deep storm moves down the California coast. Initially, we were chilly this week, but what that storm does is it moves into the northern plains and toward the Great Lakes. The jet stream buckles, and so now that puts warm and cold air on a collision course. And with the spin of low pressure and very powerful jet stream winds, you tend to get severe weather and a tornado threat will develop across the Mississippi Valley tomorrow. And those strong storms will gradually work their way east uh, through the evening hours. Now rain potential, we can take this. Last week we had three to four inches. This looks like about a one inch rain event. But I'm a little more concerned about Friday night as storms, some with uh, tornadoes across Illinois, Missouri, and Iowa, weaken as they move across Indiana. That's a little higher risk uh, into western Ohio, but I do think there will be a general downturn in severity. We're in the just the marginal threat after midnight tomorrow night, but certainly some strong winds can be mixing down to the surface during the overnight hours on Friday, and then strong winds will develop again Saturday, uh, very similar to last Saturday, not with thunderstorms, but just with the intensity of low pressure. We're looking at temperatures in the mid 40s. A couple of spots in southern Ohio have dropped into the upper 30s. Just figure on on and off rain tomorrow. Hang on to the rain gear, and it will get blustery. 52 at noon after 41 in the morning, but a mild finish to the day, about 60 degrees, perhaps most most important, the winds by Saturday morning will be around 40 with some gusts, not steady winds, but gusts over 50 miles per hour as we get into the day on Sunday. And then very quickly, you'll see the track of that moisture as it works its way east. There is the morning rain. And then I want to show you some noon showers and then heading into Friday night, some storms and then the main line coming through around two to three in the morning that could have some damaging winds early on your Saturday. 41 clouds increase, not as cold. Periods of rain tomorrow, a few rumbles of thunder and then stronger storms Friday night. A lot of wind Saturday, a great Sunday, and then we're looking at 70 degrees in true spring next week.